Okay, so this is how I uh, edit audio in Adobe Audition. I'm wrapping up a 120,000 word audio book. I'm on the last chapter. I've got to do a few appendixes um, on the manual, but um, this is essentially how I do it. I do not use punch and roll. Uh, I know some people do use that and prefer to use that technique. Um, I don't like it. I've tried it, and I think I'm actually faster doing it the way I do it. I just pick up my mistakes um, and I just redo them in the flow and, and it just works better for me. So essentially I edit it one and a half to two times, uh, speed on playback since I know where the breath marks are and, and, uh, sometimes you use a clicker. Sometimes I don't, in this case, I didn't use it. Um, so anyway, let's just step through it. This guide is designed to assist pilots in developing personal standardized procedures for accomplishing PIC responsibilities and in making better pre-flight and in-flight weather decisions. CFIs should stress that frequent review of the personal guide keeps the information fresh and increases the pilot's ability to recognize the conditions in which a new risk assessment should be made, a key element in the decision-making process. Situational awareness. Decision-making process. Okay, so I know I want a gap between uh, sections, so I just add that in there, about a second plus, a few frames, save it. And this is a large file. It's uh, raw is an hour 37 and uh, finished. I'm not sure yet, so uh, keep going. Situational awareness. Situational awareness is the accurate perception and understanding of all the factors and conditions within the four fundamental risk elements that affect safety before, during, and after the flight. Maintain Maintaining situational awareness requires an understanding. Okay, so obviously I did add the uh, clicks in there. It does help me, and, and here's what it sounds like in real time. Maintain. So I double click the clicker so I could see it on the waveform. Um, and then I pick it up, there's the breath, and then there's me picking it up clean right there. So it sounds like and this. And after, after the, the flight. flight. Maintaining, Maintaining. All right, so that's good. So I'll go back to double speed. Maintaining situational awareness requires an understanding of the relative significance of these factors and their future impact on the flight. When situationally aware, the pilot has an overview of the total operation and is not fixated on one perceived significant factor. Some of the elements inside the aircraft to be considered are the status of aircraft systems, pilot, and passengers. In addition, an awareness of the environmental conditions of the flight, such as spatial orientation of the aircraft and its relationship to terrain, traffic, weather, and airspace must be maintained. And airspace must be maintained. To maintain situational awareness, all of the skills involved in ADM are used. For example, an accurate perception of the pilot's fitness can be achieved through self-assessment and recognition of hazardous attitudes. A clear assessment of the status of navigation equipment can be obtained through workload management and establishing a productive relationship with ATC can be accomplished. A clear assessment of the status of navigation equipment can be obtained through workload management, through workload management and establishing a productive relationship with ATC can be accomplished. Through workload management and establishing a productive relationship with ATC can be a clear assessment of the status of na navigation attitudes. A clear assessment of the status of navigation equipment can be obtained through workload management and establishing a productive relationship with ATC can be accomplished by effective resource use. Obstacles to maintaining situational awareness. Another new section, so I'll just add that there. Obstacles to maintaining situational awareness. Many obstacles exist that can interfere with a pilot's ability. Many obstacles, many obstacles exist that can interfere with a pilot. Many, many obstacles exist to maintaining situational awareness. Many obstacles exist that can interfere with a pilot's ability to maintain situational awareness. For example, fatigue, stress, or work overload can cause the pilot to fixate on a single perceived important item rather than maintaining an overall awareness of the flight situation. A contributing factor in many accidents is a distraction, which diverts the pilot's attention from monitoring the instruments or scanning outside the aircraft. Many flight decks. Many flight decks. Many flight decks. Many flight decks. Many flight deck distract. Many flight deck distract. Many flight deck distractions. So I really messed up here, so I'll just uh, find a good one. And I think it's right here. Where is it? Uh, let's go mini flight. Instruments or scanning outside the aircraft. Many flight deck distractions begin as a minor problem. Many flight deck distractions begin as a minor problem, such as a gauge that's not reading correctly, but result in accidents as the pilot diverts attention to the perceived problem and neglects to properly control the aircraft. So that's basically how I do it. Uh, one and a half to two times uh, normal speed. Clean it up. Discuss. And uh, that's it.